Let's start off talking about the market in South Florida. Is it different than the market in the rest of the country? Absolutely. If you think the Miami heat is hot, the South Florida mar market is hotter. We've seen in the past year the prices go up exponentially and realized an incredible record-breaking sale at the residences at Miami Beach Edition, uh, featured by Ian Schrager, and uh, are seeing a very, very robust real estate market in South Florida. For Where sure. is all this money coming from? Everywhere, from everywhere around the world, but in particular, a lot from New York City because at $3,000 a foot plus, that's a bargain as compared to New York City real estate. So the ability to own an oceanfront, beachfront property at 3,000 a foot in a prime location is actually considered a bargain. What has changed in the market in South Florida? Because there are booms and busts, national as well as local. What's changed to make this so attractive? What's changed is that Miami has become a very internationally diverse city. Um, it's become a very cultural capital, and which is one of the reasons why we participated at Art Basel this past weekend, so that we could connect with our global clientele. We have purchasers from Russia, from India, South America, um, all over Europe, and it's really become a very diverse population, and it's not a seasonal community anymore. It's year-round, and a lot of fine restaurants, and just wonderful weather. Well, let's talk about, the, for example, the residences at Miami Beach Edition. Tell us about the project. It is a series of 26 one-of-a-kind bespoke residences designed by John Pawson, and it's nothing like Miami has ever seen in terms of the level of design and sophistication, and Miami really hasn't seen this degree of architecture and design, which is increasingly becoming more prevalent in South Florida. So what are some of the amenities? What is this, uh, some of the scale that we're talking about? What, how many square feet? Well, we go anywhere from 2,000 square feet up to six, 7,000 square feet. Um, we had someone buy two of the penthouses. So there is a demand for very large residences in South Florida. Many people bring their families for vacation, and it's become really the hot spot in America. What about the other areas of the country? For example, New York City. I mean, that also has a reputation for high-priced real estate. And I know that one development is the Puck Building in Lower Manhattan. Absolutely. New York City and London continue to run neck and neck in terms of being the top most desirable locations for people to own homes. And the fabled Puck Building in Soho is quite extraordinary because we only have six one-of-a-kind penthouses with 12-foot barrel vaulted brick ceilings so you have these incredible real authentic features but then all of the contemporary amenities and conveniences that a buyer looks for today so master bedrooms have wood-burning fireplaces the living rooms have fireplaces so very very unique and um, custom homes how much does it cost a cool 21 million up to 60 million dollars for 21 to 60 million. Right. For 60 million, you get a residence that's 7,000 square feet of interior space and over 5,000 square feet of exterior space. So truly a rarefied gem. Is this is this a, a, a all cash market? Indeed, it is. We're seeing that all of our buyers are all cash buyers, both in South Florida and New York. South Florida. Another project I know you're working on is the Faina House. What is that? Faina House is truly a very unique proposition. Uh, Alan Faena, who conceived um, Faena District in Buenos Aires, is now developing a whole new district in South Florida, in Miami, on between 32nd and 35th Street on Collins Avenue. And it, the building is designed by Foster and Partners, only 44 condominium residences. And what's truly amazing about these spaces is that it's indoor and outdoor living, so you have continuous balconies of terrazzo flooring that just goes around every single residence. 